Welcome everyone to our series Farm to Fork. Today we're going to be taking you on a trip to Bob Cajun Farmers Market. The Bob Cajun Farmers Market is in the middle of the town of Bob Cajun on Mansfield Street. It's open from May until the Thanksgiving weekend in October from 8 to 1 on Saturdays. There we're going to meet up with the vendors and the farmers at that market, but most specifically we're going to be featuring Queen Bee Flower Farm and Microgreens. We met up with Barbara Rollinson at the market and we talked about the culinary uses of her microgreens. Today we're going to be making a strawberry chocolate tart with a goat cheese filling. We got the goat cheese from Cheese Please Peter at the market. We're going to be topping it with some fresh strawberries from Mark Martin's farm and then the star of the show we're going to be using the basil microgreens as a topping let's get started start off with two cups of almond flour remember spoon the almond flour into the cup don't scoop it you get a compacted flour place that into the bowl put one teaspoon of salt two tablespoons of good quality cocoa powder. To sweeten that, you'll use four tablespoons of maple syrup. This maple syrup is from Red Mill Maple Syrup Farm in Cavan. Right, we have four tablespoons of maple syrup. After the maple syrup, you're going to add a half cup of melted coconut oil. Now, if you don't have coconut oil, you can substitute with shortening, but it will be solid. So you have to just put it into a glass measuring cup, heat it slightly in the microwave because you want to take your coconut oil or your shortening and you want it to be a liquid form. Half a cup took me about 25 seconds in the microwave. All right, we're gonna add that to our almond flour mix. And then you're just going to whisk that together. So we're making the crust for our tart. This is going to make a small tart. It will probably serve uh, in thin slices about six people. So mix it until you see a crumb starting to form. I'm going to whisk it with my whisk and then I'm going to get my hands in there, but I want to get it as mixed with the mixer and with the whisk as I can. All right, so I'm mixing it with my hand and the warmth of my hand is heating it and I'm getting a nice dough starting to form. This isn't going to be a roll out dough. This is going to be one that you're going to press into your tart pan. Okay, so put it into the tart pan and just start pushing that into form the crust. So you're going to press this into your tart pan. You can see the size tart pan. We're going to bake this at 350 for about 15 minutes. You can, let, you can do this the day before. You need to let this cool before we go on to the filling. I'm going to press this in, put it in the oven. We're going to take a short break and we'll be right back.
Welcome back. You're watching Farm to Fork. My name is Chef Connie Powers. Today we're featuring the Bob Cajun Farmers Market and Queen Bee Flower Farm and Microgreens. We are making a chocolate tart with a goat cheese filling, strawberries, and basil microgreens. We're going to start preparing the washed strawberries. Now you can add the strawberries straight up, fresh. I prefer to add a little bit of sugar to macerate them so that they will last longer and keep a gloss. So wash your strawberries and let's start slicing them. Remove the husk. And we're going to slice them in thin slices like this. All right, the strawberries are prepared. I've used about maybe two cups of fresh Ontario strawberries from a Mark Martin's farm at the Bob Cajun Farmer's Market. I'm going to add about one tablespoon of sugar or less and I'm going to just do that because I like the preservation of that and I like the presentation of that. Toss those, we can set those aside and we're going to start making our filling. The base of this tart is cooling. We'll set that aside and we'll start the filling. So you're going to need about four ounces of fresh goat cheese. This goat cheese is from the Bob Cajun Farmers Market at Cheese Please Peter and it's plain goat cheese. Put that into a food processor. I, it's a little chilled so it'll keep its shape. And you're going to use about six tablespoons of Greek yogurt. Don't use regular yogurt. This one has a, a thicker consistency and you'll need that for the filling. So I pre-measured six tablespoons and I'm just gonna put that into my food processor. Now we're putting basil microgreens on top of this. The strawberries, the goat cheese, the basil, it's all going to uh, make a delicious filling. To that you're going to add four tablespoons of maple syrup. And that makes four. And now we'll close that and mix. Make sure you get all of the maple syrup mixed in. Here's the filling. We're going to add this to the base once it's cooled and then we're going to add the Ontario strawberries and the basil microgreens. Right now we're going to go to the Bob Cajun Farmers Market. We're going to meet a few vendors and a few farmers and we're also going to introduce you to Barbara Rowlandson from Queen Bee Flower Farm and Microgreens. Take a look at this. Okay, every Saturday morning, probably around uh, 6.30 or so, I arrive and um, I'm a volunteer with a um, uh, a, a group of other people who are fun to be around and the vendors that come here are unique. They're all caring, it seems, that, that they want this to be a special spot. Oh, and here comes trouble. <laughs> here comes trouble. This guy's here at 4.30 in the morning. He puts out all the signs and um, it's uh, just trouble right from the start. Plus, he phones me every Thursday and says, are you okay for the market? And I always say, oh, no, it's not. It's Macy. It's Macy. I've got to say, yes, I'm ready for the market. So he arranges all the, all the uh, help, the volunteers to come. And, uh, and then he works with Charlie to arrange with the vendors. And if it wasn't for the people, well, this market wouldn't be the special place that it is. We have the most wonderful group of volunteers. Anyways, we have a great market, wonderful, wonderful vendors, tremendous selection. Everybody's different, unique. We have a spot for all the patrons to sit at, relax, have munchies or whatever they want. Coffee's available. Coffee you, you, is available. Yeah, we clean the chairs. We clean the tables. 
We do everything. We're um, just delightful, actually.
welcome to our series Farm to Fork. Today we are at the Bob Cajun Farmers Market and here we're here with Barbara Rowlandson from Queen Bee Flower Farm and Microgreens. We're going to ask her a few questions and let her tell us about her farm. This is not your farm. This is where you uh, market your, your goods. But do you also market on your farm? No, uh, this is the only avenue that I sell so far. Um, last year I did subscriptions and markets and I found that just to be a little bit too much. So this year I've scaled back to just the market and probably we will do the same again next year, 2024. And where is the farm? Farm is in Cobaconk, Ontario. So it's about a half an hour from the market here in Bob Cajun. That's good. And I, I've noticed that really you don't need to sell off your farm because you have regular customers who come here yes. and buy the flowers, buy the microgreens. Yeah. We're going to be taking uh, the microgreens back today I think we're going to be picking up some basil microgreens and we're going to be taking those back we're going to be making uh, a cheese tort with some basil microgreens the microgreens can be used anywhere what do you suggest well, I mean, you're right. They can be used anywhere. They're very flexible food. Um, I really like putting them on, on sandwiches or burgers instead of lettuce. Oh. Um, but you can use them as garnish on top of dishes. Um, sometimes if I have uh, and like a nice crunchy sunflower, I like to put it on top of a pasta dish. Well, or they, do, they do have a lot of crunch, but they also have a really a power punch of nutrients too. They absolutely do. And flavor. And today you'll see I've brought radish, um, mm. I've, uh, radish microgreens, so yummy. Might be my favorite. Yeah, I love them so much. I also have mustard microgreen. Oh, that's nice. And they add a like, nice little kick to a dish as well. So anywhere where you might use that vegetable or condiment, you can use it in the uh, microgreen form. And a lot of chefs do because it gives great color, it gives great yeah. nutrients, and it's really a trendy food right now. It's And it's a little bit unexpected too. I think people aren't really as used to I think it hasn't quite caught on as much as home cooking so it can make your okay. meal at home feel a little bit extra a little special. bit more exotic yeah. you're right uh, and I am a graduate of the floor floret flower farm uh, course oh that makes sense yeah yeah so and microgreens are new for me this year and it, that came at the suggestion of our market director who lost their microgreen uh, supplier last year and you took it up and you started well it made so much sense now when I'm starting all of these beautiful flowers indoors in early spring I have all of the shelving all of the trays all of the UV lighting and all of the ability to be able to grow seedlings and so when our market director suggested this and said hey, have you ever thought about growing microgreens I thought well I have the stuff to do it why don't I give it a try and, and it's really satisfying to grow food now something yes. I have noticed is in her bouquets she often puts uh, herbs so here we've yes. got dill you can smell the dill it's usable it goes in your house mm -hmm. Just, that's a great idea. I love using vegetables and uh, herb in, uh, integrated into a bouquet. In fact, today you'll find tomato leaf oh. and even the odd cherry tomato in my bouquets. That's cute. Um, I've also got mint. And I quite often use cilantro. Nice. The, the customers are starting to come into the market. Uh, this is a place to buy some beautiful bouquets, a place to buy fresh grown microgreens. Come see Queen Bee Flower Farm at Bob Cajun Farmer's Market every Saturday until Thanksgiving. Welcome back. That was a great tour. Every farmer's market has its own set of characters, its own vibe, and there's nothing quite like the environment of everyone looking for their local food and their delicious weekly treats. Let's get going on preparing the tart. I'm going to add in the goat cheese and yogurt filling. I kept this in the fridge as well so that it could keep a little bit chilled. So we're just going to uh, put that onto the top. We're gonna spread that out. Once we have included the strawberries and the microgreens, we're going to put this back into the fridge and just give it an opportunity to firm up before we serve it. All right, we're going to add the strawberries. Remember the strawberries, if you look at these, I've added just a small amount of sugar to the two cups of strawberries. Not enough to make them sticky, but enough to make them keep their gloss. So we're going to place those now onto the filling. If you want to get fancy and you want to place them in a nice order, I just like the rusticness of placing them wherever they fall. All 
right, now we're going to add the microgreens. And let's look at the microgreens for one minute. When you purchase them from Queen Bee Flower Farm, you're going to notice that they are on a, uh, a root base. You're not putting that root base. So you just take a pair of uh, kitchen scissors and you snip them. So I'm going to do them on my board. I don't want to do them on the tart because there may be some residual water. So I'm just going to snip them right as close as I can to the root base. Now you could use regular basil cut up if you had that. There is uh, a stronger flavor to the microgreens. So uh, this pack of microgreens will, it's two pieces, it would provide me with plenty. You know, put these on sandwiches, put these on burgers, put them in a salad. The taste is incredible, but it's the nutritional punch that you get from microgreens. All right, I have cleaned that off. I'll use a little bit more on there, but this is enough now to put on top of my tart. I'm going to make sure that I don't have excess water, so I'm going to just dry them a little bit. You can see that there was some water there. I was keeping them fresh. And then once they have absorbed, the water has absorbed into the towel, I'm just going to sprinkle those on top of the tart. So I have uh, the microgreens on top of it, the basil. It looks delicious. It's going to taste delicious. We're going to pop this into the fridge, let it firm up a bit. This is a wonderful brunch. It's a wonderful breakfast. It can be a dessert. Whatever way you want to use goat cheese, chocolate almond, and microgreens, that's your creativity. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed the tour of Bob Cajun Farmers Market and Queen Bee Flower Farm and microgreens. Thanks to Barbara Rowlandson for all of the info she gave us on that. Thank you to Charlie Cross, the manager at the Bob Cajun Farmers Market for letting us video that day. Until next time, keep cooking.